Winter in Canada is long. It can also be dark and dank and kind of depressing. And when we've had an ice storm in April, it kind of feels like winter is dragging on forever. That's why I get super excited when spring finally rolls around and I get to go outside. Last weekend we survived Mother's Day and anyone who's ever worked a Mother's Day brunch knows how much fun that is. So after everything was already cleaned up and we were ready to go home, I was standing outside of the restaurant with my hair down. My friend brought me a liter of juice. I thought it was a little too sweet so I went to dump it back down a sink in the kitchen. Uh, I don't ever use this sink because it's on literally the opposite side of the kitchen from where I, my station is. So once I dumped it down the sink, all of a sudden... Kristen, you're... I don't like you anymore. No, you can... And, uh, yeah, so I have to clean that up. So on the Monday up, one of my friends from the restaurant and I, we went out into the forest to forage for ramps. I got really into foraging about two years ago. Uh, when I went out on my first uh, forage for morel mushroom. I just think that there's something really therapeutic about going out and picking your own food. I brought my ramps home, I decided to do a simple fridge pickling recipe for the bulb portion of the ramps. To do this is fairly simple. First, you'll need to thoroughly clean the ramps. After they've been washed, put a pot of pickling liquid on to boil. You'll need one cup of water, one cup of vinegar, one cup of sugar, two tablespoons of salt, and one tablespoon of pickling spice. As I was doing this, I realized I should have used a larger pot, but I was committed at this point, so YOLO. While the pickling liquid is heating, prep the ramps. Remove the small base portion with the roots attached, trying to take off as little of the bulb as possible. Then, using your knife, remove the leafy portion and set it aside for another recipe. Fill a sanitized glass jar with as many of the ramp bulbs as can fit. Once the pickling liquid has boiled and the sugar and salt are dissolved, remove the liquid from the heat and let cool to room temperature before pouring it into the jar. Fill the jar as much as possible. Push down the ramps and make sure that they're completely covered in the liquid before putting on the lid. Fridge pickles will typically keep in the fridge for about two months, but of course use your judgment. The flavor will have properly developed after a day or two. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know if you like this format of chef's day off vlog type of thing. Uh, if you haven't already, you can follow me at KAC Creative on Twitter and Instagram. I think I have like three Twitter followers, so please God help me out. I don't really tweet a lot, so that's probably, probably has a lot to do with it, but uh, yeah.